Hi fellow Django developers, Isaiah here from AwayJango.co where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. If that sounds interesting, like, subscribe, share the video. Let's get into it. So today we are going to look at how to send Django emails with file attachments. Like always, we have an article here on AwayJango.com. Excuse me, we have an article here on AwayJango.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description so that I can check it out and what have you. So here we said in this tutorial, we'll see how to send emails from Django with file attachments, right? So we'll discuss how to send emails in Django with files attached to them. Maybe you want to send email to your users attaching maybe their profile image or maybe their CVs, whatever you want, just a normal file. You want to get it attached to that an email you are sending through your Django application, right? So here we said we have discussed topics relating to this. We have discussed how to send emails in Django. Yeah, how to send HTML emails in Django. These two articles, I'll also leave a link to it so that I can read it up. So because we have discussed these, because we have discussed how to send email in Django, how to send HTML email in Django, we said <clears throat> following that we have ma we have many of these basic setups setup processes already discussed in these articles these articles we may at some point need to reference these articles right below are steps to, to sending emails in Django with file attachment number one configure your SMTP credentials number two set up the template file number three send the email with the attached file in your in your views.py file right so first step we say for this step we are going to reference a, a a previous article here on how to configure your smtp to send emails in django that's what we have here i'll also leave a link to it so but i will talk about it i'll talk about it briefly so already we have a very simple simple django application here with an index.html file with a .env file with a .env file dot, with a URL file with a view file very simple so when we go to the browser let's start our server python manage .py run server so when we go to our browser in our browser we have this right we have a form here with this form you choose a file with this file you send it when you send when you press send here it sends a post request to this view right here to this view here we are going to discuss how to handle that right so to send emails in Django you have to configure your SMTP in your settings of py file you have to have these settings the email backend the email host the use TLS, TLS email port email user email password right we have an article here we have an article here i'll leave a link to it on how to configure this so but for your email to your for your host user she should be your email your gmail of course you can use maybe send grid you can use uh, maybe mail trap or what have you so but now we are just going to use the gmail smtp server right so we have our host set to smtp um, dot gmail dot com we have our host user to our email address mine is morganhezekiah111 at gmail.com then the host password this should be the password of your jan of your gmail right so but i set up i set up less less secure application password in google so to do that to get this password to do this in the right way to get this password you have to go to have to go to your account right here to your account you say um, manage manage your gmail account manage your gmail account you come to security come to security then you have to have two factor authentication enabled if you check here you have two two step verification enabled these two step of ver verification you have to have it enabled you just click on this to send um, a text to your to your phone to your number you enter the text value and what have you so you have to have two-step verification enabled then 
if this is enabled you see this op option here this app passwords we'll go to this app passwords so you go to this as well say enter your password let me enter my password real quick so after entering your password you can now create you cannot create now you have you have i have a very this password should be the one i created for this application when i was testing so you create another application you say for anything let's say a custom name django email attach file then you say generate this will create a simple password for you after this tutorial i will probably delete this password right so this will create a simple password for you you just copy this password come here and enter it here so after these settings after copying this password here you enter these settings here the email host user should be your email address and um, your password is here then portal is five port is five eight seven and the host is smtp.gmail.com the backend is django call mail backends.smtp.email backend we'll be able to send emails in django i'll leave this i also as in paste this 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 certain value certain credentials and values in the video excuse me I also paste these certain credentials in the video description so that you can copy it and do what you want. So let's get into the meat of this. So what we will want this application to do, what we want this application, our application right now to do is, is when when we select a file here, when we select a file here, let's say any file, maybe let's say this image, when we select a file here and press submit, we want we want to send an email to to want to send an email to maybe a client with an attached file the attached file will be the file we send through this form right so let's handle the post request we say if request dot method method is equal to post we say we we'll get the file as a file is equal to request dot files dot get the name of the f the name of the input field should be file so after getting this file to send the mail in django you import from django dot call dot mail we import this email message so let's say email is equal to email message so this email message text text should be should be four compulsory arguments right the first one is the subject subject of email right the second one will be the content content of email if i can spell content right who cares guy so the second one will be from email so the from email will be the email the email that will be signified as the email the um, the message was received from right so maybe your company email or what have you so for this for this tutorial now we have imported we have imported settings the settings the we have imported from django.config we have imported the settings so let's say uh, we have in our settings we have this email host user email host user well, let's copy it and go to our settings we say from will be the settings dot email host user then the uh, the last composer argument is a list of the recipient email that's a list of the emails to which this email will be sent to right our client email uh, our clients email or a particular client or list of clients but this argument here should be a list right so Right here, I'll enter my own email, Morgan Ezekiah one 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 at gmail dot com. So because this will be a list, don't forget to add this um comma after this email right here, so that Python will treat without this comma here in a tuple without this comma here, Python treats will treat this as a simple string. So this comma is very important. So 
this is how you send email so to send the email you say email dot send right you have sent this email right now if we maybe go back to our browser let's just choose an email here let's say we send you can see this 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 is the process is taking longer we are we should have received the email let me check my check my gmail let me check my gmail inbox so here you can see we have received an email right here the subject of the email the content of the email which is what we specify here so boy like you know right now that we are not attaching any file so right here this is the meat of this tutorial so to attach a file say email dot attach that's it so email dot attach takes three arguments first one is the name of the file second one is the readable content of the file the third one the last one will be the file content type so first one is the file so dot name Second one will be file dot read. Last one will be file dot content type, right? So what I'm saying here, the first argument will be the name of the file. For a file received in Django files, the Django file request file dictionary, it will have this file name. To have this readable, which is an argument, which is a method, it will have the content type, right? So if we go back to this. To this tutorial here to this article here you can see we have the file we have the file name have the file readable content have the file content type the content type should be maybe image stroke jpg image.png um, and what have you whatever the content type of what you are sending is right so this is this is the main content of this email to send attachment attach to send attached file through your email and django application you just import this mail message enter this 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 credential these values here the subject the content the from email and the recipient list the list of emails that will receive this message then the email has an argument we has a method called attach the attached text three, three arguments the first one is the name of the file the la second one is the readable content of the file. The last one is the content type. Then don't forget to use this dot send because this is what you send the email. Without this, the email will not be sent. So let's let's try again. Let me go back here. Let me delete this email here. Let's try again. Go back. Let's send this request with this image. Or maybe let me do this image let me just send it with this image let's send so you can see it's waiting wasting a little bit of time in another tutorial i'll teach how we can make make this this um this this process this email sending process because is is an os operating system intensive process right so it takes time so if we go back to our email you can see right here we already have this attached file you can see we have this attached file right here and if we click on it you can see the attached file right so let me send another email to to make sure everything is working let's send another email with another file let me show you the file we are using let's say let's say we use this flower image Let's say we use this image of a flower. My system is very slow. I don't know why it's taking time to load. One, two, three. Oh God, this is this is embarrassing, guys. I don't know why it's taking time to load, guys. So, but let's see. Let's see. Let's choose a file. Let's choose that flower image. This flower image right here. Let's choose it. Let's send. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, here we have received the email, if we open it, this is the flower image. So this is it guys, this is how you send attached file to your emails in Django.
so like share subscribe share this video with anyone you think you find this video interesting guys um that's it for today take care of yourself have a nice day peace